Hey, buddies, Potemic Whiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Civilization 6. And we are going to be jumping here into another single player game. And uh, I'm going to be playing with a modded civilization again. So let me go in here. This is going to be the Venice mod. Now, you probably all already know that based on clicking on the thumbnail, but who the hell cares? So we are going to be playing as Enrico Dandalo or Dandolo. He has the ability the fourth. Crusade, which is a 50% discount when levying city-state units and gain the War Galley unique unit after researching feudalism. We'll talk a little bit about that in a moment. We'll talk about the units when we get in game. Um, we have the Most Serene bonus, which is an additional diplomatic policy slot after researching political philosophy, civic. A plus one trade route capacity for every specialty district constructed in the capital. And patronage of great people costs 33% less gold. Uh, he also gets the Muda, which is a Venetian unique unit that replaces the Trader. Uh, the trade routes to foreign cities triple tourism pressure and yield plus two gold, culture, science, and faith for each luxury at the destination. This guy seems crazy, but there's a downside. And that is, the very final bonus, Venice cannot build, buy, or capture settlers. Oh goodness, that's kind of scary. Now, they also get the War Galley. We'll talk about that when we get in-game a little bit, um, but it's pretty much just like a really strong early game uh, quadrireme. They also get the Fondeco, which is a unique building, unique, which is a building unique to Venice. It yields plus five gold and plus two culture. It also contains three great work slots and doubles the tourism pressure from this city after the industrial era. So I'm getting kind of a tourism... Tourism vibe. I thought I had turned off steam alerts, but I'm gonna have to turn them off again I'm getting a tourism vibe from this guy. Uh, so that's definitely the kind of direction. We're gonna play this game uh, I'm also going to be I'm gonna be playing on Emperor this time I don't think this civilization is really balanced for DD play because it can only build one city But I think Emperor is a perfectly reasonable sort of thing. We're gonna start in the ancient era We're gonna I think we're actually gonna play on a uh, I think I was going to do like islands. Yeah, I was going to do islands. Um, although maybe not. Maybe maybe I'll just do uh, continents. Yeah, let's do continents, and we'll do a standard map size with some extra people. A uh, resource quantity. Everything else is just perfectly fine. Uh, I'm going to keep religious victory on advanced settings, limit turns by game speed. No, yeah, all that looks good. We're going to keep everything else pretty much. Standard. I'm going to leave the game speed as standard as well. So yeah, there you go. That's, this is what we're going to be playing. These are going to be just very, very standard rules on the continents map, I think. Um, I was going to do like one of the true start, or not one of the true, the, sorry, not another, yet not another map pack maps, but I think, I think we'll just, we'll just do like a continents map. That's fine. So yeah, uh, thank you guys very much for watching this introductory video, and I will see you when we get into the gameplay. Bye-bye.